How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today I did have a different video planned project. WAP is back. We took it in because it was having some oil pressure issues and uh, it was just a sensor. It was just as simple as a sensor. Daddy Peacock got a little bit lucky today. So I was going to like go and try to bring the old paint back to life and make her look brand new and put my new wheels on and everything and it's uh, it's pouring outside. It's raining cats and dogs and uh, I cannot work in such conditions so today we're gonna just enjoy this rainy day like we would at school you know put on some Finding Nemo something similar today we're just gonna sit back and enjoy and look at some ricers or some uh, nice clean builds with a little subscriber ricer nice if you want to submit your car send it to my gmail at drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com and let's just chill first car a great start Paul Walker would be proud this is one of the more slept on cars in the Fast and the Furious and I just don't think people understand what it is. So Paul Walker's, you know, daily in that car, which would be a badass daily, is a fucking Ford Lightning. A lot of people just think it's an F-150. It's a Lightning, you know? If you're a JDM guy, this is something easily to overlook. But a Lightning is pretty much a Cobra in a truck body. It's a supercharged Mustang motor. I mean, come on. Like, like look at it. Like, unassuming supercharger. Unassuming supercharger. I mean, how can you not just love that type of shit? This thing is a wild beast. For sure, a donut and burnout machine and a fun daily. Brian O'Connor has great taste. Next car, we got a little Q50. Says he's running a JB4 boost controller making about 420 horsepower. I mean, if that's to the wheels, that's a lot of fun horsepower. I'm having fun in Project WAP and we're only putting out like 360. So 420, I mean, newer cars are heavier. I feel like the 360 in that car, since it barely weighs like 3,000 pounds, is a lot more fun. But still a really fun car. MK5 GTI. I've said it once before, and I will say it every time I see one of these. Just not a huge fan. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. Like to me, like this doesn't scream like you know, cool sports car. I, don't, I don't know. To each their own, you know. I'm sure you can have a lot of fun in these, but to me, like as a hatch, like this is like a wannabe like Civic hatch. I don't know. Like it's probably faster. It's definitely faster. Don't get me wrong there, but it's just, it's, it's, it's bland. As Gordon Ramsay would say, it's fucking bland. What if I do this whole episode as like you know a budget version of gordon ramsay what in the fuck have you done here you've burnt the fucking meat this thing is blacker than coal i'm not very good at my british accents i'm really bad at it yeah i don't know i don't know what's going on with this truck those like <laughs> come on man i mean you know if it's lady driven whatever but it's just it's, it's still fucking ugly so this has got a big block but i really don't care the paint job you lost me at pink Mach 1? I never see really anyone doing something cool with a Mach 1. Like I, I never see it. Maybe it's because like they're kind of expensive and they hold their value and you don't really want to butcher it, but yeah, these are the shittiest fucking photos I've ever seen. I'm sorry. Like I'm sure you meant to send me like good photos, but I mean I gotta turn my head every which way and I'm still not even seeing most of the car. Like I kinda wanna see the shaker hood, but I can barely fucking see it. I'm like looking for the amount of fucks I give to actually start these photos. I can't find it. Finally, some decent fucking photos. Thank God I could actually see this car. It's a 2004 Acura TL, and it is in some unicorn cum paint job. I mean, it looks cool right there. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it almost looks like my old Mustang wrap, although my old Mustang wrap was a lot more subtle and less in your face. This is like, holy shit, look at my car changes colors, but it's not bad. I mean, looks like fake TE wraps, I'm guessing cool wrap and that's about it i mean they, they look curbed to shit so i don't really blame you for having reps but yeah i mean whatever it's uh rice next honda you know looks cool looks unassuming you know you're not gonna think anything twice about it you're just gonna <gasps> what have you done boosted k20 Says it's laying down 550 horsepers. This thing must make people shit their pants. Like, look at that. That's a decent sized spoolie snail. I'll have to see how big it is, but 550 horsepower on a Honda Civic. And he is looking not sus at all. Sleepers are the coolest cars. I'm saying it. Write it in stone. Sleepers are my favorite. Looking cool and being fast is fun and all, but to this day, I still think that my little sleeper Project WAP is probably the most fun I've ever had driving a car. It is the probably the shittiest shitbox I have. I mean, it's a good car, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not trying to diss the quality of work. Shout out Sideways Performance. But what I'm saying is, it's like, you know, it's just like a little beater car 
that I have so much fun just fucking embarrassing everyone in because it's, you know, no one's suspecting a little V6 Mustang to have a 2JZ underneath the hood. And this fucking K20 swapped Civic, guarantee, breaks people's hearts. This is a 326 horsepower S15. Says it's pretty different and he is curious of my opinion. And my opinion is, I feel like it's about 15 years too late. 2005 would have been a great time for this car. Looks very pimp my ride. Here we go, next car, 2017 Civic SI. Holy mother of God, what the hell did you fucking bolt to the back of your bumper? What is that? You chopping wood? You got like axes hanging out, man. Dude straight up has a rake underneath his back bumper. He could go fucking plow some leaves. I mean, you know what? Thinking about it, you know, Honda does make some pretty good lawn mowers. I mean, you got the you got the lawn cutting equipment up front. You go ahead and rake it all up back. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, might as well. By the way, to all the dumb fucking ricers out there, this tow hook, tow strap, whatever you want to call it, it's supposed to be functional. It's supposed to be a viable option to tow your vehicle if it does, in fact, break down. This being a Honda, probably not needed. Honda makes pretty good cars. They last quite some time. That being said, bolting it to your fucking plastic grill ain't doing shit except letting me know you don't know what the fuck you're doing. I'm just saying that, that like, if a tow truck driver had to tow your car and he tried to attach it to that, bye-bye, lower grill. You're gone. All right, someone needs to take the credit card away from their dad. Someone needs to get it out of their ASAP. Who's, whose man is this? Who's, whose husband is this? I, I'm pretty sure the conversation went like this. Honey, come on, like, uh, 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 EcoBoost Mustang. It's still a Mustang, and it's still got four seats. It'll be plenty for the family. Now, we need a fucking minivan. So if you don't get a minivan, I'm going to suck up the neighbors some more. All right, all right, all right. I'll get a minivan, but can I at least make it look cool? Whatever boom this is what you got you got fender flares you got fake fucking fender vents fake hood scoop racing canards like three different lips and a gigantic wing coming off the back i've never seen a more depressing image please if you're not ready to have kids wear a condom all right this is pretty sick so you know to us it looks like an s14 correct just looks like your average S. I mean, not average. It looks really sick. Don't get me wrong. I actually love the color and everything. But it, it, it's just a little. It's just a little S14, little right-hand drive S14. You know, nothing too wild. Just looks pretty sick underneath the hood, though. Everything from an S15. It do be kind of sick, though. Like having a right-hand drive S14 would be cool alone, but swapping over all S15 spec R parts into this S14, I mean, come on, that's fucking sick as hell right there, okay? Like, at Sideways, we have like a 2JZ uh, swapped S14, or one of the guys does, and it's badass, but I mean, this is, this is fucking clean right here. Like, you got a little bit of wheel gap, but at the same time, you got a really nice front bumper on there, and I don't really blame you for not wanting to destroy it, so honestly, really dope. Next car, 2006 Grand Prix GXP? People actually mod these? I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that. I, I mean, it's, it's not a bad looking car. I mean, it does look very 2006, but not a bad looking car. It says he has 170 on the clock. It is a, no way. It's a sideways mounted V8. I didn't even fucking know that. So wait, this thing is sideways mounted V8 front wheel. It's gotta be front wheel drive then. What the f what the f i didn't even know i mean maybe i'm just fucking stupid or something but i don't think i've ever seen in my life a front wheel drive v8 like this like a sedan i didn't fall oh, right whatever I, my, my mind is blown it says he has 170 on the clock built the trans but the motor is still stock i am like i said i am surprised didn't know that you learn something new every day now i have something cool to tell some i don't know someone at a party or something like hey did you know that a 2006 grand prix gxp was a front wheel drive v8 me neither and i don't really care <laughs> oh my god man this is like when a lot of people say that hondas are like the best cars in the world this is kind of what i picture they drive like <laughs> honda badge honda badge honda badge like honda badge is everywhere he's got tire lettering he's got hubcaps he's got the whole package right here red accents honda bug guard but it's not even a bug guard what is that it's obviously not meant for this car or something but fake hood scoop He's got a little weather guard for his sunroof, if he even actually has a sunroof, which I don't think he does. I don't know. Like, what the f***? How do people do this to their cars and, like, drive around normal? Like, I feel embarrassed driving around mixed match wheels on Project WAP, but that's just because I don't want to die.
Driving this around? I don't know, man. That's that's like public humiliation. I wouldn't be able to do that. You should do that to prisoners. Just, you know, if they want to get an early release, just have them drive this shit around. 400 horsepower Mazda Speed 3 snail. Are you referring to the spoolie snail or the fact that 400 horsepower isn't really that fast? I mean, it is. It's, it's kind of quick, but where are you in fucking Rainbow Land? Where is that? Hawaii. Oh, okay. I guess, yeah, maybe 400 horsepower is pretty fast in Hawaii. All right, all right, all right. You got some stuff going on. I see what you're working with. I saw in the first photo, it looked like you had a meth kit in the back. Okay, I see you. I see you. You spraying a little, you spraying a little go go juice. I see you. Rear seat delete. Okay, all right. You're, you're, you're working with it. Doing what you gotta do. Turning your rear doors into useless pieces of weight. You know, maybe you should have just bought a coupe of some sort and made it that, but whatever. I see you. Eh, I mean yeah it's 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 cool i like people that modify their car but at the same time i mean removing the rear seats kind of like defeats the purpose of buying a hatch but if you put them in every once in a while that's pretty cool i see you also got the micro down there to keep it from rattling and stuff like that this boy thinks cool build i like what i see all right z boys i'm tired of seeing shit like this i'll see cars like this up on off road and they're asking for like ten thousand dollars and they're like i know what i have it's a z it's a hr blah blah blah, blah. it's ten thousand dollars two two hundred thousand miles on the clock you ain't getting no two hundred thousand miles with for 10k you ain't you ain't getting that i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i ever spoke bad about you I, I'm, I'm i'm sorry i take it back i take it back i did not i did not mean any of it i did yeah i love you I love you so much. I mean, I I still don't get why you don't have a front bumper on. This thing would be one mean sleeper. You're missing out so much. Now you're kind of like a cop magnet because not having bumpers on your car seems to attract a lot of fucking attention. But at the same time, I mean, I wouldn't expect an LS on this shit box. Looking at the exterior, I mean, it looks like just some rusty junk that I'd throw out. But I mean, underneath the hood, I mean, uh, no complaints there. No complaints at all. 2012 maserati gran turismo are these are these quick can someone tell me like i'm too lazy to actually look it up so you know maybe when i'm reading the comments i'll see someone that actually like tells me but i've seen these here and there like kind of mobbing on the freeways and they, i like how they look like it's a pretty good looking car i'm not a fan of the ghibli but this is a pretty good looking car but are they quick can someone please tell me like what, what are we talking here like i said i do not care enough to go google it but you got some rubber band tires so i would i, would, I don't know i would thicken that up a little bit all right, boys, last car. We have a 2016 Audi A6 3 liter pumping out 413 wheel horsepower and 399 wheel torque on a Mustang Dyno. He also gave me the temperature, said it was about 80 degrees out. I mean, come on. If you're going to tell everybody that, I mean, why even list your horsepower if you're going to make up an excuse for everything? But anyways, that's a, that's a solid number right there. And uh, I mean, looking at your car, I mean, it is absolutely fucking beautiful i'm not gonna lie like i i like it the wheels are a little odd i like them in this picture they look pretty aggressive you know i like the spoke design and everything but here they're it's like obviously an uh one directional wheel it's cool i like the car the wheels are a little odd but honestly i mean what the fuck is this a forecast i don't i'm not, I'm not gonna look it's a really clean a6 I'm, I'm gonna give it to you i'll give you the thumbs up on this i like audis i feel like out of the german cars they're one of my favorite so it's pretty cool to see a decent looking Audi. Usually I get sent fucking TT shit boxes, but this one really nice. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, please let me know down in the comments which one of these cars would you love to own. If you want to submit your car to me, send it to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.